noise right now for Eric Scott. Thank you so much for being here on a Wednesday night. You, uh, you guys seem very nice. I appreciate that. I did a show a few weeks ago, and, uh, and half the crowd was Amish. Yeah, like the ones you read about, you know? Uh, yeah, I was really nervous about it. It actually went really well. I think it's because I told them I was very famous, and I knew they couldn't look it up. So. I'm not in the library. They can't find me. Uh, I like living in Chicago. I like living in a big city. I came from a very small town. Uh, one of my favorite things is about uh, the city is Whole Foods. And I'd never been to one until I got here. I like the vibe there. I like that there's women drinking wine while pushing a shopping cart. You know, that's classy. Uh, but I don't shop there. It's very expensive. <laughs> but I try to recreate that vibe for my life, you know. Um, apparently, drinking a 40 at an Aldi's isn't classy. Uh, that's a misdemeanor, actually. That's what they told me. I was talking to a family friend recently, and she said, uh, you know, I feel so bad for people in your generation. You all go to college, you're all drowning in debt, and you're all receptionists. I was like, you know someone who's a receptionist? How in the hell did they get that job? I'm interning at a dog walking company right now. And if this golden retriever doesn't write me a letter of recommendation, I may never be an Uber driver. So, uh, it's tough out there, you know. I, uh, I'm trying to keep up with like with the news, with politics, a lot going on. I know women are angry. Paying attention. Uh, <laughs> I do, and I'm on your side. I, I really am. Uh, it is weird to me that large amounts of men in Congress are choosing for women, mainly like reproductive rights. That's weird for me, you know? Uh, not even like the issue itself. It's just weird that men are choosing for women. You know, because as a 24-year-old guy, I don't know what the hell's going on with a woman. I just believe whatever you tell me. You'd be like, yeah, Eric, every month I get my period, and then I go out in the woods, and I shed my skin like a snake. And I'm like, yeah, and it's beautiful, okay? You're so strong. Just be nice to me, is that Would you be nice? I don't know, I don't know anything. I, uh, I do have a girlfriend, and uh, my girlfriend told me recently her ex-boyfriend's been texting her. She texted back and said, hey, I've got a new boyfriend now. It's me. <laughs> Next day, he texted her back and said, I wish you the best of luck, Eric seems really funny. Yeah, he Googled me. Watch one of my stand-up clips on YouTube. That was tough. I was like, maybe you should give him another chance. Uh, he sounds great, to be honest. Uh, he's got good taste, if anything. Um, you think you made too quick of a decision to... <laughs> When I'm not doing this, uh, I do have a job. Uh, I'm an indoor skydiving instructor. That's what I do. Uh, if you're not familiar, it's a vertical wind tunnel that produces enough air that simulates free fall. You actually fly around. People love it. It was recently voted in the Chicago Pri Tribune as the number one place to bring your step kit. <laughs> it's so fun there, you can gain approval. You know? It's like... I've been petitioning to change our slogan to Come as Jeff, leave as dad. So, uh, works. My manager loved it. Now, before I, uh, before I had the indoor skydiving, skydiving job, I had a buddy who was doing outdoor skydiving. Uh, which is just skydiving, if you really think about it. And, uh, at this point in his training, he was learning how to pack a parachute. And I went with him, and uh, the guy who was teaching us uh, was doing so, but he was using only sex references. He's like, all right, you're going to grab it up here by the clit. You're going to tuck in the labias. And you're going to push it down into the G-spot. Now I swear this is what he said. He was willing to bet our lives that we understood what he was talking about. Also ruled out the possibility for any questions. It's, real quick, on the parachute, where's the clit? Oh, same as a woman? Let's jump out of this plane, dude! 
I don't know. You can't really just rub around on a parachute and wait for it to tell you to stop. You know what I'm a parachute's never faked its opening because it cares about my pride. Um, I have several ex-girlfriends that will tell you I don't really know how to pack a parachute. I try real hard to pack a parachute. You know, some nights they'd rather just pack it themselves. I imagine just getting on the plane and the guy's like, I hope these kids get pussy or else they're gonna die. Um, thank you so much, I'm an Aries guy.